Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a space weather news update Friday, March 11th at 5 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. An M2.2 solar flare from AR2964 just popped off on the limb, and you can see the radio blackout occurring now. Now, a moderate solar flare measuring M2.2 was detected at 2232 UTC, March 11th, around AR2964 in the southwest quadrant. This is the ninth strongest flare of Solar Cycle 25. As the solar cycle ramps up, we're waiting for the big one in terms of peak X-ray flux. More updates probably won't be needed as this is not going to be Earth-facing. But what was Earth-facing was the long-duration sea flare that happened 24 hours, 36 hours ago. And it's now up on the models. Here we're looking at the ISWA Signet Streamer. And you can see that uh, coronal mass ejection headed our way for impact sometime Sunday night. This could, uh, and here we are over at the Enlil Spiral. And it is showing impact sometime late Sunday with a massive plasma coming directly at us. Now, according to the forecast, we should be seeing some pretty spectacular auroras. So there'll be an aurora watch, watch Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And there is the M flare in question and the long duration C. The C flare doesn't look significant at all. In fact, it was a very low level C flare, but earth facing and long duration and lots of plasma associated with it, as we can see on the models. Look how dark this region is here as that's turning in in the model. And that's dark region is what's going to directly affect our planet. Now, with our shields down, this is a great test to see how insane the aurora gets. Is it unprecedented? Do we find a new type of aurora? Here, they're forecasting the three-day geomagnetic storm forecast, KP6. Our forecast is KP5 to 7 as a peak, but we'll keep a close eye on that. And then we have this M flare. The sun is getting a little jiggy, and it may even intensify this nor'easter. So we could be seeing some intensifying effects on Sunday from the storm up in the northeast, like Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire. Could be seeing epic snow. And this is all with us just 100 seconds from midnight. Holy macaroni. Now, searching for rock art evidence for an ancient super aurora has been one of our main focuses for half a decade. And we're coming together with an event on the topic. The paper that brought it all together, characteristics for the occurrence of a high current Z-pinch aurora as recorded in antiquity, will be linked below. And basically, it answers the question of the 30% of petroglyphs worldwide that are, well, unknown. What they mean. Well, they, they mean that ancients witnessed a super aurora in the past. And we're going to be having an event called Squatterman 2022, the Plasma Petroglyph Tour. Stay tuned for details. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. As we await the super auroral storm, the geomagnetic storm, geomagnetic storm watch starting midday Sunday through all day Monday. Be safe. We love you. Mm -hmm.